In this video, I'll show you how to solve the problem where um, if you connect your GameCube to, for example, an AV receiver, there's no picture on the screen like I show here. Um, the GameCube is connected to my Pioneer receiver, you see on the bottom left, but when I turn the GameCube on, nothing is displaying on the screen. Um, yeah, I suspect this has something to do with the GC video output. Um, something's wrong or whatever, a certain pin isn't uh, being powered. So um, I'll show you how to fix this issue. The solution is really simple. You just put a, a powered splitter in between the GameCube and whatever device is not picking up your GameCube over HDMI. Um, so you can see here that the GameCube is connected to the splitter. The splitter then goes into the receiver. And then if we look at what happens when we put the splitter in between the GameCube and the receiver, you can see that the receiver now uh, accepts the input from the GameCube and the GameCube boots up. Uh, you're going to see the GameCube boot into Swiss really uh, quickly here. I mean quickly, it depends. But you're going to see the GameCube uh, boot into Swiss here. Also, the GameCube works if we um, simply plug it into the TV directly. So it's really an issue with the receiver and the GameCube. So um, if you have the same issue, try putting a powered splitter, not an unpowered one, but a powered splitter in between the GameCube and your uh, device and it might fix your issue.